What's up, y'all? It's Aunt Glizzy. And this Bob Son TV. And the day we got Shot Glizzy shot itself story. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel on my way to 100K subscribers. Yes, this is National Shot Glizzy Week. This is a holiday. That's the reason you get all these Shot Glizzy, Shot Glizzy, Shot Glizzy videos. We're going to try to mix the content in there and all that. We're going to fade out the Shot Glizzy in about a week from now. But it's International Shot Glizzy Week. And we brought to you by the Glizzy Gang. Let's get into it. Make sure y'all go shop Sweezy and make your life easy. So, this story right here is crazy. Y'all ain't even gonna believe this. Like, the, the hood know, like, if you know, you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. So, let's get into it. One day, Shy called his homeboy. Shy got some partners from the neighborhood. I can't say no names in this story, but I'm gonna say Shy name. But for y'all put the story together, y'all put the story together. I put no names to this story. So, Shy had a move. He knew some guys in another neighborhood who had some. Shy was hanging with some other guy. He had some, all right, outside his neighborhood, he hang outside his neighborhood. He had some other friends, some guys he hung around. He hung around them and they had like guns, weed, money. This was way back in the day. Like just they had a stash, like they had stuff. But Shy got homeboys in the neighborhood. They the stick up boys. They do their thing. They, they stick up people. They take, they do, that's what they do. Like. Back in these days, 37 had a crew, man. This crew, you do not want to get into it with this crew. They would kill you. It was just no if, ands, or buts about it. It's like the go-to crew. I don't know their names, though. But Shy had an idea. So he hung with some guys, and he felt like they're a little bit soft. So if he go tell the guys from his neighborhood, he can get the guys from his neighborhood to snake them out, and Shy can just take their stuff. That's what the Shy thought the plan was going to be. But all moves don't go as cold in this plan, y'all. I'm sorry, I had to get in my phone. Hold on. All moves don't go as cool as planned. Y'all know y'all can plan it, but it don't go as planned, so it don't play out. So Shy put the day together that he was going to backdoor the guys that he been hanging with outside the neighborhood. So he put a play together. He got them all in a trap house. They was in the trap house chilling. So Shy left, went back around his way. Shy went around his way and told his man he got to move. He knows some... uh. He know, he know somebody that got a house full of stuff, basically, something according to that. These are not 100% accurate, but the story is the meaning of the story. You understand it. I'm trying to talk without incriminating somebody. So they, they allegedly had some guns and drugs and stuff in the house. Like, So Sha was trying to back down. Sha called the guys from the neighborhood. The guys from the neighborhood, they put a play together. Long story short, the guys from the neighborhood end up with all the stuff. They they backdoor the guys, they get all the stuff. Just say they had a broke little 380 gun, a couple Glocks, some money. And I don't know what they came off exactly. This is just my imagination of what they came off with, but I'm putting the extra on it. So they say they came off with a Glock, a 380, and a rack of extra pounds and stuff. Just say pounds and miscellaneous stuff. So they like, shy like, I mean, I want the Glock and such and such. And they looking like, we giving you the 380. We ain't giving you no Glock and no such stuff. You getting the 380. They ain't tell them that. So they ain't even really got to talk to Shy. They like, they them in the neighborhood. Like, Shy know not to play with them. Shy, I can't play with them in no way. They ain't even them type of guys. They just went on the move. Like, you know them guys in the neighborhood that be on moves and you just want to be cool with them. So you go put them on moves. And just hope they break you down accordingly, but they don't break you down accordingly. And that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Yeah, yeah, that's just the way it is. So they bust the move. Shy say he won the Glock and such and such. They told him he ain't getting that. They gave him the little 380. So Shy, so Shy was like, the 380, I get the 380. But them the type of guys, if you if you say something to them, you got to take them to war. And, like, Shy ain't got enough courage to say nothing to these guys because they make the block move. Like, they put the Trey and Sam. Like, back in the day, when you heard Trey Sam, it's just they put the name in that junk. Like, they put the foundation in that junk for my generation and generation I grew up in. They was putting the paint for where it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was doing their thing. But Shy had end up sending them on the move. They get shot a, uh, they get shot a bullshit gun. Shy like, like he get the bullshit gun. So Shy think of a plan in his head. They keeping all the dogs and all the 
They got, they keeping it in the spot. Like they got a trap spot around the way, around the yo. They keeping it in the trap spot around the yo. They from around the yo, they all been in the trap together. Shy be in the trap with them. Shy know the spot. Shy know what the at. So Shy, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't tripping on Shy still or nothing or nothing. Like Shy ain't one of them. First of all, Shy ain't gonna play with them. Shy played with them. Shy feel like he just a manipulator, y'all. He feel like, man, they played with me, so I am So I guess he put an idea in his head. He was going to go in the trap and steal that Glock he wanted. He went in there and stole that Glock that he asked him for. And I guess he thought they wasn't going to know who it came from or who stole it. Because when he stole it, because when he stole it, they ain't called Shia off the break. Like, yeah, man, you got that. I guess they must have went looking for a woo-woo. But who not going to think? Shia just asked for this. He feels some type of way. He just got that bullshit. Now they come up missing out the spot, shy be in the spot. They automatically call and shout like, where that dog at? Man, bring that young back. He like, all right, he gonna bring it this day, he gonna bring it this day. Just keep spinning them. So long story short, they tell Shy, all right, matter of fact, you gonna die with that young. When, when they catch you, woo -woo, but I told you these ain't the guys to play with. If they tell you you gonna die, you gonna die. So he walk around here thinking he gonna die. So now he gotta think of a plan, like, how am I gonna get myself out of this situation? So he put the move together. They bust the move. They gave him the bullshit dog. He feels some type of way about the bullshit dog. He he burned them a move by stealing the bullshit dog from them back out of the trap. Now he's stuck with the Glock. He ain't about to go use it. Now he's trying to figure out a way how to get out of it because they realized Sha stole the gun. Now he can't come back around 37. They bought him from 37. Now he bought him from 37, y'all. They bought him. He can't even come back. Shaq Lizzie's brilliant. He think of a plan. Shaq Lizzie in the studio one day, he shoots himself in the leg in the studio. He shoots himself in the leg in the studio, then he come back around 37, like, just say a week later on crutches. And then everybody, like, they heard Shaq got shot, this and all that. And he said that's the reason he stole the gun. He stole the gun because some guys was on his line trying to do something to him, and he got shot. <laughs> he took the gun to go defend himself. Some guys were saying they was gonna do something to him and they shot at him, he got shot enough. That's not what happened. Shot, shot himself in the leg in the studio, went back around 37 and told him he got shot and they feel sorry for him and they let him come back. That is the cowardest move ever. If you think I'm lying, I'm flying. I'm just here to tell y'all. Shot, these videos get crazy, crazy. I don't know why you jumped in this Wale like You should've just left Wale alone. Don't you remember when you wrote Wale and said, picture this. You did not picture you was about to be the trending topic on Bob on TV for a month. It's cool though. We got more and more videos, more and more stories to tell. I can tell y'all, all y'all oh, look though. This guy so vicious, y'all. His back door so vicious, man. I'm telling you, he don't care about nothing. There was some guys from Baltimore in the studio. This is Live Water Studio. I don't remember the Baltimore guys, but if y'all remember whoever y'all is, this how bad he is, and y'all gonna know he this bad. So we in the studio one day, right? Shout like, man, the police be running this show, man. Y'all gotta put y'all dogs in the car, man. Shout send somebody out the back door to break in their car, break in their windows, steal their guns, and leave. And sh and then we all leave the studio, and Shout just act like the windows got bust. Somebody just randomly broke in that joint. Like, bro, do you not know you told them pit the dog? Like, everybody but it's Shaq Lizzie. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing to him. They knew he did it. <laughs> Ballers, son.